Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. You know, the Word tells us why we should study the Word. In 2 Timothy 2.15, it says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing means to manage rightly, to treat truth fully without falsifying it, or inventing a new gospel. A workman is one who is not lazy or idle in reading and studying God's word. And in doing so, truth will be revealed to him. Second Timothy three sixteen and 17 says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man or woman of God uh, may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. All scripture is given by inspiration. Inspiration means it was God breathed. The Holy Spirit moved upon man and inspired the writing of the Holy Word. The word profitable this means that the word when read will be uh, will bring nourishment our spirit will be built up because if the word is of God and it is God breathed think of it beloved in terms that everything you read God is breathing so to speak into your spirit person this is how we become strong spiritually is let the word of God be breathed into you daily by partaking of that word daily The word doctrine, it means truth. The Bible shows us the mind and the will of God for our lives in all of its teaching. And then the word uh, to bring reproof, it's speaking to us the things that need changing or that are uh, displeasing maybe to God. Reproof brings honor. Proverbs 13, 18 says those who listen to reproof is honored. So as we listen to the word of God and we we uh, study the word of God, we cannot help but to be reproved. The word also brings correction. Now, the word never leaves us hanging, wondering when God does reprove. He shows us how to correct that which is wrong. So what a wonderful God we have. Uh, The example in Ephesians 4.28, it says, Let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, what is good, that he may have something to give to, to those who has need. So the first part of scripture, it brings reproof. It says, don't keep stealing. Don't be a thief. And then the second part of the of this scripture, it brings the correction or the instructions. It says that we are to work so that we won't have the need to steal and we will have something to bless others with. God intended work uh, and he in, he invented work for our own good, and it has its own rewards. This is how the word is profitable. It brings us instruction in righteousness, which simply put in right living. Verse 17, so that the man or woman of God may be perfect or mature and thoroughly or perfected, furnished for all good works. We are saved by faith, but we are saved to bring forth good works for God's kingdom. So we study to grow spiritually and to become more like Christ Jesus. So that's the first part of the foundation of laying a good foundation of how to study the word. And the second part of this foundation in as we study the word uh, is to get it down in our spirit person because it is powerful. 
In Hebrews 4, 12, it says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Now, quick means in Psalm 147, 15 tells us he sends forth his commandment upon earth. His word runneth very swiftly. Now, we may claim one of God's precious promises, and it may seem as if he is not going to answer or that he is taking a long time, but we are not ever to give up. Luke tells us of Jesus that will I not avenge my elect, Jesus says, that cry day and night. Jesus says, yes, I will avenge them and I'll avenge them speedily. When God's word manifests, beloved, it is swift. It is quick. Secondly, the word is sharp. We are to speak forth God's word. God did not think creation into being. He spoke it into being. We sharpen like a knife or a sword the word within us as we speak it forth. The word is quick and living. It means it is constantly and actively alive. We are to use this word by faith and appropriate the promises of God by faith. The word is powerful, which means it's energizing. Only his word can, t- can truly make us alive. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. With one side, the Holy Spirit will cut away what is bad and being, uh, bring healing with the other side, even though it may hurt sometimes. It pierces, it says, the soul and the spirit. These are the two invisible, non-material parts of man. You see my outward, but God sees my inward part, my soul and my spirit. You can can catch glimpses of my soul and spirit by the work the Holy Spirit has done in my life. So the word pierces the joints in the marrow, the joints allowing outward movement, and the marrow brings the hidden but vital life of the bones. The Word of God can and will go deep. He does this in order to give us life and life more abundantly. The Word is discerning and discriminating and judging with regard to our thoughts and the intent of our heart. It is the Word that judges us, not us who judge the Word. But the Word only judges to bring forth life. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and that Word was Christ Himself, the hope of glory. May today you understand what it really means to study the Word of God in such a way to show yourself approved unto God, not unto man. Be a workman that needs not to be ashamed at His coming, rightly dividing the Word of truth. And when you do, I promise you, beloved, you will have the faith you need to live by. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417 451-5636.